Hi, in this chapter we are going to talk about our sign signals and our roadway markings. So first thing we want to know is that there's a lot of basic shapes here that are kind of associated with our different traffic signals. We can see the round one tells us about railroad, railroad crossings, our octagon shaped sign only designates that it's a stop sign, we have our red triangle for our yield, you have your pennant which tells you about no passing, your diamond can be orange or yellow, telling you about many different things, construction or other warnings. You've got the horizontal rectangle, the vertical rectangle. Um, these different signs can be blue, brown, um, green. They can be white or black. Again, giving you information, telling you about things you can do. And then you have your pentagon-shaped sign. That's going to tell you about your school zones or your school crossings. With our different signs, there's always going to be these eight basic colors. Our red signs tend to tell us about something that we have to stop, we need to yield, or an action is prohibited, like a no left turn, no trucks allowed. Our white and black signs tend to tell us about things that we can or cannot do. Your orange signs will provide you information about different um, construction items going on. Could be construction zones, you have to take a detour, anything related to construction. Your yellow signs will warn you about upcoming situations. They want to help you avoid these surprises. Maybe there's a hill, maybe this is an area where a lot of deer cross. Um, you're entering into a school zone. A lot of things just kind of pay attention and be prepared for what's coming up ahead. Your blue signs will signal motorist services. What are different things that you might need? So you might need food, lodging, where's the nearest hospital or rest area, um, gas stations that will be coming up. They're there to kind of help that motorist find the services that they need. Your brown signs tell you about parks and recreation, points of interest, and historical markings. So we think about this around here, a lot of your state or national parks will be your brown signs. Um, point of interest could just be kind of some scenic routes. Route 66 um, has a lot of those brown signs on it. Um, go up to the Grand Canyon where there's different pull-offs, things like that. You know, you're going to have kind of sightseeing places where it's going to be brown pointing those out. Um, historical markings, go down to Springfield and visit Lincoln's cabin and you're going to see, you know, anything kind of in history that's significant will be marked with those signs. Lastly, your green signs provide you information on distances, directions, and locations. How many miles will it be to get to a certain place? Um, what is my mileage as I'm driving on the highway? I've, I've passed mile 189, now 190, 191. Um, they'll tell me about my street names. They'll provide me exits, entrances on my different uh, ramps. Uh, we will always know that our signs will fall into three categories. Your regulatory signs tell you information about laws you must obey. They're going to be the things that you can or you cannot do. You've got to follow what that sign says. It's regulating you for a specific reason. The colors that tend to be associated with our regulatory signs are the red, black, and white signs. So we're looking at our stop signs. You have to make a stop here. The speed limit signs. You can go at this speed. No turn on red. You're not allowed to do this right now at that point in time. Your warning signs alert you to possible hazards and road conditions to help you avoid those surprise situations. The, so the signs that are alerting us as to what's coming up ahead, they tend to be our yellow and orange sign, providing us with a plethora of information out there. Our guide signs then, the categories for that, they tell us all about a variety of information. So they're going to be our green, blue, brown signs, motorist services, giving us information on our distances and locations, and then our parks and recreation. So all of our signs, when you see a sign at a certain color, it falls into one of those categories. There are a couple of exceptions to these rules, but in general, where the colors fall, that's the category that those signs tend to fall into.